Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're reading Arthur, the bravest Arthur there has ever been. All right, here we go. Ready? This bionic bunny show was so boring, D.W. groaned. He's amazing, said Arthur. I wish I could be just like him. Well, you're not, teased D.W. I'll show her, thought Arthur, but I need to think of something brave to do. I've got it, yelled Arthur. What did Arthur decide to do? Let's have a look, boys and girls. <gasps> what are you going to do to Mom's good towel? <gasps> what is he going to do to Mom's good towel? Please call me Arthur the Brave, said Arthur. You're Arthur the Silly, D.W. giggled. Not funny, said Arthur. So that afternoon, Arthur took a walk. Bring on the bad guys, he said. Bring on the danger. Arthur, what are you doing? Asked Mrs. Turner, the librarian. Looks like trouble, sniffled Mr. Ratburn. They've never seen a real superhero before. That's what Arthur thought. When Arthur got home, he smelled smoke. I'll save you, cried Arthur. Arthur dashed into the kitchen with a bucket of water and he threw it on the fire. That was our dinner, Daddy said. Sorry, said Arthur. He threw water on supper. Later on, Arthur saw Grandma going across the street. I'm going to help Grandma. That's what, that's what Arthur thought. Let me help you, Grandma, said Arthur. But Arthur, said Grandma. Don't worry, he replied. It's safe to cross, Grandma. When they got across, Grandma was not happy. I really didn't need to cross the street, she said. I was waiting for Mrs. Tibble in the park. I'm sorry, said Arthur. I think I'm stuck, Arthur said. Don't worry, said Ellen. Help is on the way. Hang on, Arthur, called Binky and Buster. Buster climbed up and untangled Arthur's cape. Thank you, said Arthur. He felt like he just couldn't do anything right. Sometimes we feel like that too, don't we, boys and girls? But let's get to the end of the story. I'll never be like the bionic bunny. Arthur said at himself at night time. Just then, he heard D.W. was crying. Help, she cried. There's monsters under my bed. Uh-oh. They're in the closet, too, she said. Help me. Turn on the light. Anybody, please, quick. Calm down, Arthur said. And he checked everywhere. There are no monsters, said Arthur. Yes, there are. There's mean ones with big yellow eyes and pointy teeth and hairy hands. She's really scared of monsters under her bed. I used to be afraid of monsters, Arthur said, when I was little too. And then I learned a magic spell that got rid of them. Will you tell me what that is? Okay, said Arthur. Here it is. Pat your tummy and wiggle your nose. Tug your ears and curl your toes. Now say these words as loud as you can. I'm just as brave as I think I am. One more time, boys and girls. Pat your tummy and wiggle your nose. Tug your ears and curl your toes. Now say these words as loud as you can. I'm just as brave as I think I am. And one. Okay, let's keep going. So, D.W. said that three times. That's a pretty good spell, she said. Even the bionic bunny could use it. I don't think you're Arthur the Silly anymore, she said. Arthur smiled, and he quietly tiptoed back out of her room. And there's Arthur. Back in his room, Arthur climbed into bed. Sometimes just being a big brother is even better than being a superhero. And then Arthur the Brave fell fast asleep. Boys and girls, if you're a big sister or a big brother, 
you can help your little brother out or your little sister out too because that's what it's all about. We're going to live life and help others. Until next time, God bless you. Say your prayers tonight. Good night.